Hello students, myself Professor Hidal Padiyat from SMPIT Umrak. Today we are going to learn a transaction management which belong to database management system subject. First of all we learn about what is the transaction. Transaction means a transaction is a sequence of operation performed as a single logical unit of work and it is a logical unit of work that contain one or more SQL statements. So transaction means there are the group of statements okay multiple group of statements are there and it make one unit and that unit is called a transaction and uh, in simple language we can say that group of statements which kind of statements as we can see here SQL statement structured query language it means insert update delete okay any other joint like joint SQL statement right so the logical unit of work that is the transaction a database system must ensure a proper execution of transactions Despite a failure, either the entire transaction executes or none of it does. Now, what it means? It means for each and every statements in a transaction are executed successfully, properly. Not a single transaction or not a single statement is a fail. Right? each and every statements entire transaction has to execute properly okay so in simple language we can say transaction is a state group of statements or you can say single logical unit of work now in this unit transaction management right basically or uh, logically we can say that here SQL statements are used but for the understanding and for the simple example we are going to use, use here arithmetic operations means just like a uh, addition multiplication or subtraction etc okay most important the transaction access the data using two operations read and write now read means as word suggest we have to read the value right from the database we have to read the value from the database and store to local buffer see the statement Now, most important is transaction access the data using two operations, right? Read and write. Now, read X means it will transfer the data item X from the database to local buffer belonging to the transaction that execute the read operation. Transfer the data from database to local buffer. What it means we have a database in that we have a number of variables which contain a value number of operators etc database means it will store the information right from that information we need particular value for operation so we have to fetch the data from that database so for that we use the read operation read x it means x is stored in database and we will fetch that uh, data of x and we store that value in local buffer and local buffer means for particular transaction there is a temporary memory is used so for that we use the local buffer word and read operation will transfer the data from the database to local buffer for the proper execution of transaction now after getting the value in local buffer we have to apply some modification or you can say some operators and we change the value of that x 
right so after uh, changing the value of x there is updated value so we have to store that updated value back to our database so for that we need the write operation write x which transfers the data item x from the local buffer of the transaction that executed the write back to the database okay so whichever value is updated in local buffer we have to transfer that back to our database with the updated value so these two operation read and write are the most important operation in our transaction see the example how looks like the transaction this is the basic simplest example right read operation and write operation are used here and these six statements we can say operations and the whole unit this whole unit is work as a single logical unit and it is called as transaction so what this transaction says that read x sorry read a it means it will read the value of a from the database right and then after we perform the subtraction that a minus 50 a has some value and from that we deduct the 50 and then we updated value we store the same variable that is a so what we can say that value of a is updated with the old value okay from the old value and that should be stored back to database so for that we use this write a operation okay so read a we apply some operation and then we back to store our database that is write a so same will happen with variable b read b b equal to b plus 50 write b so whatever value is there for b we add the 50 in that and we store that value in b and up, updated value will be stored in database using the write b operation and at last there is a commit statement commit statement means all statements are executed successfully and we have stored the values in database so this transaction is executed successfully we can say by using this commit statement okay now transaction state diagram or you can say state transition diagram so there are six states active partial committed failed committed and and aborted okay so this is the same example active means you can say a particular transaction is ready to execute partial committed means halfly executed failed transaction failed committed transaction successfully executed etc right but we learn in detail detail means for each and every state we have to we have to make a proper sense and we have to make a proper meaning okay so transaction state diagram terms are we are going to learn now okay. active active means this is the initial state okay the transaction stays in this state while it is executing it means whenever transaction is going to execute or it is ready to execute we can say that the transaction is in active state partial committed partial committed means when a transaction executes its final operation or last instruction you can say it is said to be in partially committed state okay whenever your transaction is going to execute half execution is done successfully and the last operation or last statement is going to execute okay before that final operation when that final operation is going to execute your transaction is said to be in partial committed state failed failed means discover that normal execution can no longer proceed once a transaction cannot be completed or any changes that it made must be undone rolling it back okay now it means during the transaction okay during the transaction during the execution of transaction in between there is any issue of a system or any uh, mathem uh, mathematical problem expression problem or any kind of interrupt 
then the transaction is failed and at that time transaction is said to be in failed state okay now committed committed means the transaction enters in this state after successful completion of the transaction after committing the transaction we cannot abort or roll back a committed transaction committed means your whole execution whole uh, transaction is executed successfully each and every statement of your transactions are executed successfully and the last statement that commit is performed properly it means your transaction has completed for execution right so we can say that at that time the transaction is in committed state and we cannot abort or roll back a committed transaction it means roll back means whenever you whenever you found that transaction is fail in between the of execution we can roll back the transaction roll back means whatever changes is done during the half execution it will go back to original value and abort means abort that is the next state aborted right the state after the transaction has been rolled back and the database has been restored to its state prior to the start of the transaction abort means okay when transaction is failed okay then if there is no solution then we have to abort the transaction is in aborted state and when failure is detected the transaction must be rolled back and then it enters in aborted state and after entering in aborted state there are two options it can be restart a transaction or it can kill the transaction when there is a system issue system failure then we can restart our transaction again and when there is a logical error or any input output interrupt then we have to kill the transaction and we have to make a new transaction with the new statements and we start that new transaction again for the execution right so these are the steps or you can say states for the transactions thank you